the science events which come to Antarctica are all here for the same purpose. They want to learn about the continent and in doing so they're very conscious of their environmental impact. So operating more sustainably is kind of in the hands of Antarctica New Zealand in that we're the logistics provider. So I'm sort of working on the BMS which is the building management system down here. These sort of monitors all around the base they read, you know, how much electricity is being used in this building, how much water is being consumed in this one. And my job is then to generate reports to sort of measure the efficiency of the buildings. So down here at Scott Base, sort of most of our energy comes from the wind turbines, which were installed up on Crater Hill just behind Scott Base, I think it was about four or five years ago now. So there's three of them up there, and there was a joint venture with Meridian Energy, and um, we should share it with McMurdo, the American base. So yesterday, the base used 2,000. 497 kilowatt hours of energy, and it all came from the wind turbines. Well, I guess sustainability is at the core of our culture, so it's just the way we operate. Uh, of course, there is a cost associated with that, and we do need to absorb it, so we try and like keep those costs down. So, for example, we use fuel to heat the base. Fuel is very expensive because it's got to come by tanker. So. We've built our base in such a way that we're reducing heat escaping the base, as in we don't have any windows that open, they're all double glazed. And then of course, most recently, we've installed the three wind turbines up on Crater Hill. It's reduced our fuel consumption for heating Scott Base considerably. So, of course, cost is an issue, but like I said, it's at the culture of our uh, organization to um, make sure that we are sustainable in all of our operations.